Hello, I'm Paul Williams, and I'm an American songwriter. It's my pleasure to welcome you to the first ever virtual ASCAP Foundation Honors. As you can see, things are going to be a little different this year. The extraordinary events of the last eight months have made it unsafe for us to meet in person. I regret not being in the same room with all of you, but I didn't want to miss the opportunity to recognize the important work of the ASCAP Foundation and the tremendous talent of the young artists it supports. This, this is a moment in time when the restorative, unifying, and healing powers of music are perhaps more needed than ever before. We know that music offers an outlet for our emotions. It provides hope and inspiration, comfort when we need it most. These are difficult times for all of us, and yet the creative spirit can be triumphant, and the most daunting of challenges can inspire the most meaningful work. Tonight we're going to meet and celebrate some of the most brilliant music makers who benefit from your generous contributions. I thank you for your kindness and for your continued support. Stay safe. This too shall pass. Now let's get on with the celebration. To begin, let me introduce a truly committed champion for music creators and music education. The steady hand that keeps the ASCAP Foundation shiny side up. The executive director of the ASCAP Foundation, Colleen McDonough. Thank you, Paul. And thank you all for being here with us for our 2020 ASCAP Foundation virtual honors. I never thought I would be welcoming you to the 25th annual ceremony from my living room, but here we are. And like so much of the world, we at the ASCAP Foundation have had to deal with unusually challenging situations this year. Yet one thing has remained constant for us, and that's our commitment to nurturing the next generation of songwriters, composers, and lyricists, and ensuring that children have access to music education. We hold this work close to our hearts with the understanding that the arts and cultural experiences are a vital and essential part of how we inhabit this world and how we build a more just future. And as supporters of the ASCAP Foundation, you are all part of this effort. And I express my sincere gratitude to all those who have donated. And hopefully the experience tonight will encourage others of you to contribute so that we can continue our work, which impacts millions of people each year. I want to thank our ASCAP Foundation board and our leader and president, Paul Williams. And I want to acknowledge my small but very mighty staff, Joan Hill, Rebecca Casilag, and Malika Alvaro. Thank you. So tonight, as we embrace remarkable young talent, we also celebrate some of ASCAP's greatest writer and publisher members who understood the importance of paying it forward and giving back. They have all made a difference to so many individuals by supporting the ASCAP Foundation. I wish we could showcase all 125 of our award and scholarship recipients uh, for 2020, but there really is only so much we can do in one short hour. So visit our website, look at the names of all those young, talented people who have received our awards this year, learn a little bit more about what we do, and please press that donate button. The ASCAP Foundation's first presentation is for the Jay Gorney Award. Sandra Gorney and the Gorney family established this in Jay's name, who, with Yip Harburg, wrote Brother Can You Spare a Dime, which became the anthem of the Great Depression. They established this award to support an emerging songwriter who has written a socially conscious song. Eliza Spear is a college student. She wrote her first song at age 13 and she continues to write and create an alternative, Amer alternative Americana sound, which is as classic as it is new. I am so happy to call upon our 2020 Jay Gorney Award recipient Eliza Spear and her co-writers and congratulate them. And I'm very much looking forward to hearing Eliza perform the winning song. So enjoy uh, this evening. Thank you so much and remember to give back. Thank you, Colleen, and thank you to the Gorney family for creating this award. Myself, along with my co-writers, Rachel Williams and Lindsay Gitter are honored to accept this award for If I Don't Try. If I could take the bad away 
I would bury it down. I'd wrap it tight and whisper quiet. We've had enough of you for now. My hands may be shaking, but they'll hold the words right. And my voice may be breaking, but it won't be silent this time. shirt stain we say her name so feels the same just a different day not even this mask can hold back our attack we won't cover up how this land was made but who am i who am i who am i if i don't try and who am i i take the bad away so I won't bury it down I'll wrap it tight and whisper quiet I'll learn from you now hello my name is Jackie Harris I am executive director of the Louis Armstrong Educational Foundation I am very happy to be here with all of you tonight, dressed from head to waist, as I'm sure most of you are. If you are not, I am. Together with the ASCAP Foundation, we provide three jazz composition scholarships in the name of the great Louis Armstrong. One to Queens College, one to the University of New Orleans, and one to UCLA. This evening, we are recognizing our recipient from Queens College. Los Angeles born Danny Gianucucci is a trumpeter, composer, arranger, vocalist, and producer. Although writing is Danny's passion, he is also a frequent performer, leading the Danny Gianucucci Big Band, a nine piece swing band called The Revisionist and conducting the Alchemy Jazz Orchestra. I know Danny looks forward to the day he can get back to the bandstand to perform for people. We also look forward to the day that we again have the opportunity to see live jazz performance in our venues. I am pleased to present the Louis Armstrong Scholarship to Danny John Okuchi. Congratulations, Danny. Hi, my name is Danny John Okuchi, and I'm so thankful to be here today to be the recipient of the Louis Armstrong Scholarship. I'd like to thank Jackie Harris and the Louis Armstrong Educational Foundation, as well as the ASCAP Foundation for this wonderful opportunity to get my master's degree in jazz composition at Queens College. 
This has been a wonderful experience and I'm very, very grateful for it. Thank you. We are Joan and Erwin Robinson, and I am proud to be a longtime ASCAP Foundation board member and supporter. My wife Joan and I established the Joan and Erwin Robinson Scholarship to support a music business student demonstrating leadership, knowledge, and dedication. Right now, students are working harder than ever to advance their education under the most uncertain circumstances, and we very much admire their work and determination. Our 2020 honoree is a second-year graduate student in the NYU Steinhardt Music Business Program. She has interned at Atlas Music Publishing, Roundhill Music, and with a startup record label. She aims to become a music supervisor and eventually establish her own music supervision company with a focus on teen TV dramas and blockbuster movies. With her drive, ambition, and passion for music, we are sure she will accomplish her dreams. We're happy to present the Joan and Irwin Robinson Scholarship to Drew Irillo. Joan and Irwin, I am so grateful to receive this scholarship and especially thrilled that it's associated with the music publishing industry's most innovative and dynamic leaders. Thank you both for giving back. I will work really hard to make you proud of this decision to award the scholarship to me. Thank you. Good evening, my name is Carolina Brettler. As a former ASCAP Foundation intern, I'm familiar with the incredible impact and reach of this organization. It is therefore a privilege for me to honor my grandfather, Leon Brettler, through an ASCAP Foundation program. Leon ran Shapira Bernstein Music Publishing for many years and served on ASCAP's board of directors for more than four decades. We are so proud to honor his legacy by nurturing a talented, up-and-coming singer-songwriter performer with the ASCAP Foundation Leon Brettler Award. Our recipient for 2020 draws on a singular sound from his range of eclectic influences. For this Philadelphia native, listening to the icons of his father's era, like Ray Charles, Stevie Wonder, Otis Redding, and The Temptations, was just as formative and inspiring as discovering the sounds of his own generation, made by now icons like Wu-Tang Clan, Notorious B.I.G., and Jay-Z. His album Black Hole Rainbow dropped this year to great acclaim, and through these successes, this bright star continues to rise. I'm so excited to present the ASCAP Foundation Leon Brettler Award to Devin Gilfillian. Hello there. My name is Devin Gilfillian, and I want to personally thank Carolina Brettler and the ASCAP Foundation for the Leon Brettler Award for songwriting. This is the first award that I've ever received for songwriting, for my songwriting, which is truly amazing, and I'm so honored. And that being said, I want to play a song of mine about loving each other despite where we come from. It's called The Good Life. I remember yesterday the trouble was so far away making castles in the sand the same when the lion kissed the land. So it seems in my dreams may it be I'm talking about that good life I can see all the colors show us what it really means to be beautiful Remember when the vines stopped And all the doors are left unlocked When the stranger was your brother Remember when the bank got sold And everybody took their gold But everybody helped each other so it seems in my dreams, it may it be I'm talking about that good life. I can see all the colors show us what it really means to be beautiful. I'm 
talking about that good life where we all have peace. We don't shut our doors and tell them all to leave because they're beautiful. Come on, we got to act a love attack. Take your mind back in time, rewind to Eden, where we can find peace, Lord, if we're just believing. I'm talking about that good life. I can see all the colors show us what it really means to be beautiful. I'm talking about that good life where we all have peace. We don't shut our doors and tell them all to leave because they're beautiful. Babcock. It's always a pleasure each year to present the ASCAP Foundation Jimmy Van Heusen Award to honor my great uncle and support a promising composer in film and television. A little background, my great uncle Edward Chester Babcock, also known to the world as Jimmy Van Heusen, won four Academy Awards and also an Emmy. He composed over a thousand songs, of which over 900 are listed on the ASCAP site. Fifty of his songs are also considered standards. Moving on to this year's winner, um, she's based in Brooklyn, New York. She's known as a composer, a vocalist, also a piano player. She specializes writing for film, television, and other media. She has many talents, including studying classical piano for 12 years and also trained as an opera singer. She has worked with many directors and film scores and has written numerous scores that cover virtually every genre. She also performs in festivals across the United States and Europe and also performs locally with her jazz band. She's also already signed to Ropa Dope Records and has a debut album that was released last year. I am honored to present this year's ASCAP Jimmy Van Heusen Award to Cat Folks. Cat, congratulations, and I look for many, many more successful years on your end. Thank you. Thank you so much, Brooke. Nothing can replace thanking you in person, but I'm grateful for the opportunity to let you know how truly honored I am to receive this award. Jimmy Van Heusen has an incredible legacy. He wrote countless songs, unbelievably beautiful and timeless. Many of these songs were childhood favorites of mine and are songs I continue to perform to this day. To receive this award in his name, therefore has special significance to me and I could not be more grateful. Thank you so much for creating and funding this program and for this honor, support, and encouragement. Thank you also to the ASCAP community and the ASCAP Columbia Film Scoring Workshop. Hi, my name is Holly Foster Wells and I'm Peggy Lee's granddaughter. You may not know that my grandmother wasn't only a singer, she was also a songwriter. In fact, over her seven decade career, she wrote in excess of 200 songs. The title of songwriter, was what she was most proud of out of everything she accomplished in her career. And for that reason, when my family and I were coming up with ways that we might be able to honor her in what would be her centennial year, which is what's happening right now, we thought what could be better than working with the ASCAP Foundation on creating a Peggy Lee Songwriter Award, an award that would pay tribute to her legacy, but also help future generations of songwriters. Nothing would make her prouder than that. I am thrilled to be presenting for the very first time today the Peggy Lee Songwriter Award to two incredibly deserving musicians, Michael Bloom and Jenna Lottie. Michael Bloom is a singer, songwriter, producer, guitarist. He's written several songs that have gotten the attention of Billboard magazine, as well as many other publications, and Downbeat has called him a rising star in the world of guitarists. 
Jenna Lottie got her start writing actually in poetry. She would write poetry to help express her feelings of anxiety and depression. And eventually her poems turned into songs. And then those songs got the attention of a lot of people, including the producers of NBC's Songland, her song Sad Girl, which she was able to pitch on that show. And of course, her songs have now gotten the attention of the ASCAP Foundation and Peggy Lee Associates, the wonderful song Fake ID, which I hope you all will get to hear. In the meantime, I am thrilled to be presenting this award to Jenna and Michael, so deserving, and I can't wait to see where this songwriting duo goes from here. Congratulations, Michael and Jenna, on receiving the very first Peggy Lee Songwriter Award. Thank you so much, Holly. This has been such an amazing opportunity for us. Not only just the financial component, which has been so appreciated, but also the chance to engage with a music industry mentor has been so valuable for us. I so admire Peggy Lee, her music, artistry, her songwriting, uh, and so I hope to make you proud with the work that I create. It is truly an honor to receive this award dedicated to such a phenomenal woman and icon. Your support means the absolute world to us, and we are so, so, so grateful. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Jamie DeRoy. In 2007, we established the Jamie DeRoy and Friends ASCAP Foundation Songwriting Award. The first recipient was Barry Kleinbord, and this year's recipient is Paul Rolnick. These are songwriters that have continued to do amazing work, but have not garnered national recognition. We hope they all do. Over these past 14 years, we have had some amazing, wonderfully talented songwriters, and Paul Rolnick is no exception. Paul wrote a song called, We Never Ran Out of Love, We Just Ran Out of Time. And never in the history of my knowing this song has it been more important. So this year we bring you Karen Mason singing, we never ran out of love, we just ran out of time. Thanks, Jamie. To be selected for this award by someone so respected in the industry is a real honor. I love all the parts of my musical career, record producer, songwriter, engineer, and session singer. And without a doubt, one of my biggest thrills is hearing my wife, Karen Mason, sing one of my songs. So, it is my pleasure to welcome Broadway star and Zevely Records recording artist, Karen Mason, to sing my song, We Never Ran Out of Love, We Just Ran Out of Time. A song poignant and appropriate for these times. These cold October mornings, I'm lost inside my mind. I sit back Close my eyes and wish we had more time. We went through life's changes and faced them hand in hand. But facing life without you here just wasn't in my plans. I toss the covers off me and get up out of I can't stop the memories from dancing through my head. You and I together forever for all time. I can't believe you'd leave this life and I'd feel so left behind. The lines across my forehead run deeper than before. Things we used to fight about don't matter anymore. The world I love has changed so much, I don't know what is real. I only know that I can hide the emptiness I feel. I'm still growing stronger, I can manage on my own. When I just can't be alone But there's nothing fair about this age When life gets redefined We never ran out of love We just 
Jonas. I am joining you from LA and my mom is in New York. We're here to present the Vic Mizzy Scholarship. Sound familiar? My father, Rachel's grandfather, composed two of TV's most memorable th series themes, The Addams Family and Green Acres. He also enjoyed success as a songwriter and feature film composer and was a proud ASCAP member for more than 70 years. We want to take this opportunity to thank ASCAP for the many years of good service provided to the Vic Mizzy Music Catalog. To honor his memory, our family created the Vic Mizzy Scholarship to support a deserving television and film scoring student. This is our ninth year. Our 2020 recipient is an accomplished composer for film, television, and multimedia, pursuing a Master of Music degree in screen scoring at New York University. He has provided original scores to several short films, including two pieces premiered by the Austin Symphony, and he was featured by the PBS Arts Context Television documentary, Young Composers. We are so happy to present the ASCAP Foundation Vic Mizzy Scholarship to Michelangelo Rodriguez. Thank you so much, Lynn and Rachel. Vic Mizzy was such a master at creating his songs for movies and television. As a fan and music creator myself, I am deeply honored to receive this recognition in his name. Your support is invaluable to me as I continue to hone my skills and learn everything that I can about scoring for film in the screen. Good evening. My name is John Tita, and I am ASCAP's Chief Creative Officer. It is always meaningful for me to present the ASCAP Foundation Sammy Khan Award in honor of my dear friend, longtime ASCAP board member, and one of pop music's great lyricists, Sammy Khan. Sammy's wife, Tita Khan, created this award to honor his momentous life and career. We have two talented co-writers to recognize tonight. Tennessee native Logan Brill moved to Nashville to attend Belmont University, where she studied vocal performance and began co-writing. Logan spent the majority of 2018 on the road, opening for acts like Lee Bryce and the Wood Brothers. And along the way, she wrote songs for her third studio album. Her co-writer on Break Each Other's Hearts, the winning Sammy Khan Award song, is Montana native Justin Lance. He's been a Nashville fixture since 1995, writing songs with artists like John Party, Kane Brown, Trace Atkins, and Joe Nichols. He has an impressive catalog, and it is great to make this presentation to him. So, 
I am pleased to present the ASCAP Foundation Sammy Khan Award to Logan Brill and Justin Lance. Thank you so much, John. I am so honored to be recognized in this way, um, especially in the name of such a legendary lyricist, songwriter, and musician as Sammy Khan. Um, you know, as an up-and-comer, this type of support makes all the difference. And so I'm so thankful to the ASCAP Foundation for this encouragement. Um, my ASCAP family, Holly Chester, thank you. Um, and of course, Tita Khan for sponsoring this award. Um, and I want to pass it off to my friend, Justin Lance, who I am so honored to have written this song with. And um, thank you so much. Yes, I'd like to also thank Tita Khan and the ASCAP Foundation for this award to be recognized in the name and by the legacy of uh, such a brilliant composer and lyricist as Sammy Khan is truly an honor. Um, I want to th also thank Holly Chester for submitting the song and Logan Brill, your talent and your heart are truly inspiring. And it's nice to see you and this song get the recognition you deserve. Thank you all very much. Hi, I'm Marcus Miller, composer, producer, arranger, bass player. I'm also an ASCAP Foundation board member. Happy to join you from my home here in LA. Now the ASCAP Foundation and the Herb Alpert Foundation, they created the Young Jazz Composers Award to encourage and support young jazz composers under the age of 30. And we're really proud of all the young composers who sent in their scores to the 2020 national competition. And we're thrilled for the 20 winners and the four honorable mentions. As a matter of fact, we have one of these talented, super talented young composers with us tonight to accept his award and also to play his piece for us. Really interesting story. His name is Matthew Whitaker. And at the age of three years old, his grandfather got him started with one of those little Yamaha pianos. By the time he was 15, he was already being endorsed by the Hammond Organ Company. Also at the age of 15, he became the youngest pianist to be named a Yamaha artist, joining a stellar group of jazz pianists. His education is really cool too. As a youngster, Matthew attended the Philman M. D'Agostino Greenberg Music School in New York City, the only community music school for the blind and visually impaired. Then he went to Manhattan School of Music and attended their pre-college program. He's currently enrolled in the Juilliard Jazz Program. So this guy is very serious. He is not playing. I can't wait to see what he's gonna do in the future. It's my pleasure to present the Herb Alpert Foundation Young Jazz Composer Award to Mr. Matthew Whitaker. Hello, this is Matthew Whitaker. Many thanks to Marcus, the ASCAP Foundation, and the Herb Alpert Foundation. Herb Alpert is such an inspiring and generous figure. He's also an incredible musician, producer, and artist. It is an honor to receive this award in his name. Thank you so much. Now I would like to perform uh, one of my original compositions called Emotions. Hope you enjoy.
As some of you may know, I'm the fortunate survivor of a life-threatening disease, alcoholism. March 15th, I celebrated 30 years of continuous sobriety. The world's a safer place. Through the power of the recovery community, a choir of grateful hearts, I've been given the gift of, of the life I have today. In this time of social disruption and isolation, maintaining sobriety can be especially difficult for those struggling with substance abuse. That's why for the 2020 Paul and Mariana Williams Sunlight of the Spirit Award, we are honoring an organization that provides life-saving support and care for folks who are battling addiction. The Hope Manor Foundation, located in Bismarck, North Dakota, provides assistance to people who need a structured residential living environment in their recovery. The founder of Hope Manor is Judith Roberts. She's a, a tireless advocate for people in recovery. A former criminal defense attorney, Judith is passionate about helping the disadvantaged. I've visited Hope Manor and I've witnessed the amazing work she does. She meets my highest appraisal for a, a human being. She's a, a warrior for the light. Grateful for her own recovery and anxious to give back, 
Judith was shocked to learn that there was no structured sober housing available for women in all of North Dakota. For many, sober living provides a safe harbor for early sobriety. She decided it was up to her to do something about it. Judith Roberts opened Hope Manor in 2014, providing sober living homes first for women, then men, most recently for women with small children. I am humbled by her devotion to service and the generous way she gives freely to others and for her music classes she makes available for all of her residents. For her vital work within the sober community, we are proud to present this year's Paul and Mariana Williams Sunlight of the Spirit Award to Judith Roberts and the Hope Manor Foundation. Congratulations, Congratulations Judith. Judith. Thank you, Paul and Mariana. Receiving this award is overwhelming to be recognized by someone who has not only experienced the recovery journey themselves, but also devotes themselves so wholly in helping others in recovery is truly humbling. We draw so much strength from our amazing community and from partners and kindred spirits like Paul and Mariana. Their support is of vital importance to me and to organizations like Hope Manor. Together, I believe we can continue to support and positively impact those who want help to recover from crippling addiction. Thank you again for this honor. My name is Ginny Mancini. I established the ASCAP Foundation Henry Mancini Music Fellowship to honor the music and the memory of my dear late husband. This fellowship provides support for a talented young film composer participating in an ASCAP film scoring workshop. Just an aside, when Henry Mancini first applied to ASCAP, he was rejected because there was not enough material for them to administer. Needless to say, when he was accepted, we framed his first ASCAP check in the amount of $14 and 73 cents. Needless to say, prosperity soon followed. Our honoree is a New York City-based composer, sound designer, and songwriter who has been scoring anything she could get her hands on since the age of 14. While studying at the Berkeley College of Music, she scored films for directors such as Steve McCartan, and Daniel Slotje, and playing violin since the age of six, her passion for music has led her on many different musical paths, including her band, Vera Kay. I am pleased to present the ASCAP Foundation Henry Mancini Music Fellowship to the dynamic and talented Catherine Ruffley. Thank you so much to Ginny Mancini and the ASCAP Foundation for this award. I am so grateful and so honored to have been considered. Thank you. I also want to say a special thank you to Daniel Slot J for allowing me and being a part of bringing his film to life. Keep making beautiful movies. Hello out there. Dean Kay here. I'm a songwriter, music publisher, and ASCAP Foundation board member joining you from my home here in Los Angeles. My late wife, Michelle, and I started the ASCAP Foundation Michelle and Dean K Award to support and encourage an outstanding participant in the Los Angeles ASCAP Film Scoring Workshop. I know Michelle would be proud that her memory is being honored through the next generation of music creators. Nathan Matthew David was raised in a musical family, playing in bands and going on to study film scoring at USC. His dark synth and guitar-driven work was heard on the Russo Brothers' adaptation of Dead in Class, and his emotional music was featured in the award-winning docu-series Surviving R. Kelly. Born to Philippinex immigrants, he is now writing an album featuring traditional Filipino instruments, chamber ensemble, and electronics. I'm happy to present the ASCAP Foundation Michelle and Dean K. Award to Nathan Matthew David. Hi, Dean. Thank you so much for this incredible award. Thank you to everyone at ASCAP, and thank you to all the producers and filmmakers who have given me an opportunity to share my music. I take this award as a responsibility to continue to grow as a storyteller, to continue to support diverse and unheard stories, 
and to uplift the next generation of storytellers. Thank you so much. Hi, everybody. Valerie Simpson here in my home studio. Feeling good, you know, because we're about to give out a great award to somebody I adore. I established the Reach Out and Touch Award to honor my late husband, Nika Ashford. Uh, it's an award that allows a songwriter to realize his dream in a bigger and better way. You know, we all need a little bit more money to make it come to fruition. And that's what this award will do for my recipient. So the ASCAP Foundation gave me a great platform to step onto so I could do this. And I'm thrilled about it because Eddie Sands writes a different kind of song. He writes a spiritual song. And I think in times like this, we need more spirit in the music for sure. So his project is called The Chaplain's Desk. And the song you're gonna hear is called Living God. So enjoy Eddie Sands right now. I can't tell you how excited I am to be receiving the ASCAP Reach Out and Touch Award in honor of the great Nick Ashford from the legendary Miss Valerie Simpson. Living God was a song that was inspired by my work as a chaplain in corrections. Oftentimes, I had the opportunity to share how God brought me out of darkness and turned my life around, and how he loves everyone, regardless of whether you believe in him or not. I don't know why people still try to deny you. I don't know why you still have to try to prove your love is true. After you gave everything should be enough for the world to believe just how you see us no matter what we've done for you are the living God you are the great I am you are the holy one you are the precious land. Your expectations feel. You are our dream come true. We have eternal life. We have because of you. Nothing we could have said. Nothing we could. I've done cause you are the living God you are the holy one yeah you are 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 say you alpha and omega you're the beginning and in you there is no end. You are, you are, you are, you are. You are, you are, you are, you are. You are. Lord, you found me when I was lost in sin. You gave me new life. Now new life begins. You are, you are, you are, you are. You are. You are, you are, you are. I just want to say thank you for giving me new life. Hey, oh, you are the living God. Hello from Studio City, California. My name is Angela Rose White, daughter of the late David Rose, composer, recording artist whose career spanned six decades, included numerous film and television scores and the Evergreens Holiday for Strings, The Stripper, and the themed A Little House on the Prairie. Our honoree is a young, multi-talented singer, musician, 
film and television composer Amanda Jones. Amanda is a standout in the new generation of television and film composers and has already received a day of primetime Emmy nomination for her score for the main episode of the TV show Home. Her composing credits include an array of exciting short films, TV programs and commercials, including the TV shows 20s, Cherish the Day, and the, a Black Lady sketch show, and the recent arrangement for the animated McDonald's Trolls World Tour ad, which features her talents on an array of fretted instruments, including the banjo and ukulele. All this, and she still performs with her LA-based indie rock band, The Anti-Job. Amanda is so deserving of the David Rose Award, and it is an honor to welcome her to the great talent in the Ask Out Film and Television composing family. Hi, Angela. Thank you so much for this incredible award. Um, this is an amazing honor. You know, since day one, ASCAP has been nothing but supportive of my career um, to becoming a composer for film and television. So thank you. Thank you, ASCAP. Um, I also wanted to mention, you know, as a co-founder for the Composers Diversity Collective, I understand the importance of giving back to the community, and I will continue to do so in like form. Thank you so much, and uh, I'm very grateful. Hey, kids, it's Louis Prima Jr., son of musical legend Louis Prima, coming to you from my new home in New Orleans, Louisiana. My mother, Gia Prima, along with her friend and longtime counsel, Tony Sylvester, established the ASCAP Foundation Louis Prima Award to honor my father's legacy and to give back to the musical community by providing opportunity to a high school musician or vocalist attending the New Orleans Center for the Creative Arts. This year's recipient is a high school senior who began playing piano at age five, studying classical music up until the 10th grade when he caught the jazz bug. That's when he figured he found his true voice. He plans to study jazz performance and sound engineering in college and looks forward to a long and successful musical career. I am proud to present the ASCAP Foundation Louis Prima Award to Seth Collins. Congratulations, Seth. Wow. Uh, I would like to extend my gratitude to the Prima family and Mr. Sylvester for this award. Um, I'm inspired and encouraged by this recognition and by the brilliant careers of Louis Prima and Louis Prima Jr. Um, I look forward to my opportunity to study, tour, and teach uh, so that one day I can give back to an inspiring musician. Thank you. Hi, I'm Desmond Child, coming to you from Music City, USA. That would be Nashville, Tennessee. It's been a lifelong passion of mine discovering and mentoring the next generation of songwriters and composers and publishers, because I believe it is essential to provide them with the guidance and resources they need to succeed. That's why 11 years ago, I established the Desmond Child Anthem Award at the ASCAP Foundation. Our 2020 recipient has been creating and performing music since she was eight years old. And by the age of 16, she had opened for Bon Jovi. She soon moved to Nashville to start her recording career. And I'm sure her debut album now in the works will be absolutely stunning. I am thrilled to present the 2020 Desmond Child Anthem Award to rising star and fierce singer-songwriter, Jada. Thank you so, so much, Desmond, for this incredible honor. Your guidance and mentorship have been absolutely invaluable on this journey through music. And I'm so grateful for your belief in me and for the opportunity to perform my song, It Isn't You.
tried to rid myself of envy For a life I wish I could have known Hello, everyone. As you have just seen and heard, at the ASCAP Foundation, we have the great privilege of nourishing up-and-coming music creators of all genres and all generations. These are people with talent, commitment, and dedication who possess all kinds of dreams and creative aspirations, yet they lack the funds to realize these dreams, which is why your donation makes such a huge difference in their lives. What you did not see tonight is the tremendous reach of the ASCAP Foundation. With over 150 programs to oversee, our work cannot possibly be encompassed in one short hour. It is only with your financial assistance that our innovative music education initiatives thrive, and especially during this pandemic year. Our invaluable and virtual songwriter workshops provided magical insights so needed and appreciated by isolated aspiring songwriters and composers. So please, this holiday season, remember the ASCAP Foundation in your charitable giving. Together, we can ensure that the future of music is in good hands. Thank you so much. Have a great evening and stay safe.